It's easy to create the Ken Burns style of effect using Final Cut Pro. Drag a megapixel still image into a sequence. The more pixels, the better. Double click on the still image in your sequence. This loads it into the viewer window. Click on the motion tab at the top of the viewer window. Notice how Final Cut Pro has automatically scaled the image to fit your sequence size and aspect ratio. Park the mouse cursor on the scale parameter and roll the mouse wheel or roller ball until the image is back to 100% of its original size. Move the playhead indicator to the first frame of the clip. In the canvas window, turn on the image plus wireframe mode from the view pop-up menu. Zoom out from the canvas window by using the keyboard shortcut Command minus so you can get a feel for the size of your original image versus the viewable picture area. Reposition your image within the canvas window at the point you'd like the motion to start. Press the Add Motion keyframe button in the lower right portion of the canvas. Notice how it automatically places keyframes for all these parameters. You may need to adjust the size of your viewer window in order to see the motion parameter timeline area for your clip. Move the playhead indicator to the last frame of your clip. Reposition your image within the canvas window to the place you'd like it to end up when finished. You can also right click on this green control point to change your motion so it eases in. You can press Shift Z to fit the media back into the canvas window. OK, that's it. Go ahead and play the sequence. For more tips and tricks like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training class, visit GeniusDV.com.